round for the Italian. I'd have to go with 10 9 for Piscatello. Okay. Okay. And let's go Good. ringside as so many of our celebrities are here and there he is. Big Mick Gatto, a man who's really thrown his massive support behind tonight's event and a gentleman, Tarak. And guess who's sitting right behind him? Chopper Reed, right on the table behind him. <laughs> and you know go. what? The other day I was joking. Well, maybe we should get him both in the ring. <laughs> He's <laughs> a lovely a, guy. We're going to have an exhibition bout here after <laughs> the main event. <laughs> Good friend of ours, Mick Gatto, great supporter of the A1 World Combat Cup, all of Tarak's Alex promotions. Okay. He's been very helpful to me on this show. I know also Steve K. I want to thank Steve and Mick uh, very much. And uh, it's good to know that when, when I'm doing a show in Melbourne that I've got the right people supporting the show and uh, it makes it a lot more easier for me. Yeah, they've all been great supporters of the sport. Uh, for over 25 years, he's been supporting our sport. So it's great to have him ringside and, uh, and it's great to acknowledge that he's here with us. Here we go, second round, and I'm going to tell you, Stan, it's great to be here inside with you, brother. The eight-time unprecedented world's heavyweight champion, Stan Longanides, the man who built the house, so to speak. Talking about putting people in the ring, Stan, you're looking pretty sharp and young these days, mate. <laughs> hey, listen, let's go ringside. It's too good for us, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Well done there, Stan, as Piscatello throws the front kick. He's Again, just pecks him off the front kick as Willie Burrell looked to spin like a top and work one of those spinny hook kicks. You know what I like about um, Piscatello? He's a very smart fighter. He's landing some great shots. Those leg kicks, he's hurting uh, Burrell's uh, legs. And what happens is when he hurts those legs, there's, it takes away a lot of power out of the punches. And that's what he's doing. He's a very, very smart fighter, this Italian boy. Nice evasion from Piscatello. Just got out of the way of the right hand. Sticks the jab to the kisser of Willie Burrell front kick off the lead lead they call it a tape kick in Muay Thai a may get in karate clinch here from Willie Borrell no knees exchange to any great effect and Nation Misalides calls break you know I don't like it when uh, Tarek Solek gives me compliments like that because he's trying hard to look at oh, goes down Willie Borrell finds the canvas he's going to take a breather and reset himself here Borrell but that left leg Six. is damaged Seven. Eight, okay. Those leg okay. kicks of Piscatello once again taking their toll on the opponent. Oh, and he's just going to oh. oh. Burrell finds a canvas oh. for a second time. Same one more knockdown and it's over. Uh, one the, more and it's over. The referee didn't count that one. Right? That wasn't? Okay, still just the one knockdown there. Jab, uppercut from Piscatello, the Italian in control. Oh, very clever fighter, this boy. He knows exactly what he's doing. That lead leg, taking more shots than Stan the Man during happy hour. And that's a lot. Outside thigh kick again from Piscatello. Can Willie Borrell turn the tide? We saw it in his earlier match tonight against Diamond Steen. But Piscatello looks to be in the whole other class, Tarek. Michael, while I got a chance, I want to congratulate you for your programs that you're doing overseas in America and Japan and everywhere else. You're the leading fight promoter in the world now. It's great to be sitting down here beside you, mate. The Herald Sun. I uh, had a little write-up about myself today that I'm the leading kickboxing promoter in the world. It's great to see that us Melbourne people are doing so well around the world. As we know, these fights are going to China and there's hundreds of millions of people that will be watching there in China. Millions of people in Turkey and also in Australia. Thank you, Tarek. I've always got to say, no matter how much I travel abroad, it's always great to come home and come and take your shows. Willie Burrell going down for a second time. One more in this round and it's all over. Oh, Willie Burrell on the verge of being stopped. Piscatello wants to finish him here. The Italian throws a front kick to the midsection. No. Oh, What a performance stand from Piscatello. And look at the sportsmanship, helping Willie Burrell to his feet. Stan, how good is McKellar? A technician versus a very aggressive fighter. What a final. Folks, let's check out how it went down again. The demolition of Piscatello and Willie Burrell just took out that lead leg stand. Follow it up with a nice high kick as well. I know you love that because that's what you used to do to people back in your day. That was my uh, bread and butter for many years, being a small heavyweight. But this is how we saw it end at the end. And uh, came to the conclusion where Piscatello realized victory was there. But uh, very confident. He'll be going into the fight. Very confident against Barish. Okay, Tarek Solak to make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes. 50 seconds and round number three.